Hello Internet, today I'm going to talk about the time that 4chan manipulated the Time 100 Most Influential People poll so that Moot, the founder of 4chan, would win. Since this is 4chan we're talking about here, you know they wouldn't be satisfied with just doing that. They additionally made the first letters of the top 21 names spell out Marble Cake, also the game. Now don't go googling Marble Cake on your work computer if you want to maintain employment. Trust me. As you can imagine, these actions left Time Magazine with a very poor overall opinion of 4chan as evidenced here. They're not really into Facebook or Twitter. I would call them a community of degenerates who just spend all their time on the web all day and um, try to figure out how to hack things. Now Time and most of the mainstream media actually got this wrong. 4chan never hacked the poll, they just manipulated it. Time put me on the list, I and mean, what they really did was they manipulated the poll. They didn't actually really, hack, like, quote unquote, hack it. So there is a distinction between the two, and it kind of gets lost in translation in the media. But not everybody was upset at the situation. Rick Astley, the singer of Never Gonna Give You Up, actually wrote Moot's summary article for the issue that year. Yes, seriously, the Rickroll guy wrote an article about the founder of 4chan for Time Magazine. Click here to check it out. Gotcha! Just kidding though, if you want to read the actual article, I'll put a link to it in the description below. 4chan often liked to put Moot, whose real name is Christopher Poole, at the top of lists just for laughs and memes. For example, in 2009, they helped Moot get voted as Wired Magazine's Sexiest Geek Alive. They also helped him secure the number one spot in Victoria's Secret's Love Your Body competition before he was ultimately removed by the company. Oh, and 4chan made this guy number two. <laughs> That's a bummer, I really think Moot would kill it on the runway. I mean, look at his blue steel. So what about Time Magazine? Well, that was the holy grail of recognition. The Time 100 Most Influential People list is chosen each year by the staff at Time Magazine. The general public, however, votes in the online readers poll. As part of the voting process, they can give anyone on the list a score from 1 to 100. And whoever has the highest score is ranked number 1. And once 4chan learned that Moot was going to be on the list in 2009, they decided that he must win. It all began with a small discovery when a 4chan user found out that they could submit a vote using a URL. Apparently, each contestant had an ID number linked with their name. For example, if this URL was submitted, then it would result in a score of 1 for the person with this ID number. Which in this case was Rain, so don't even think about downvoting the superstar of Ninja Assassin. Time didn't stand a chance. These URLs were being spammed across multiple chat rooms and internet forums at the speed of light. Votes were pouring in from all around the world because of people clicking the URLs. And because the votes were associated with multiple different IP addresses, they seemed legit. 4chan then made another fortuitous finding. 4chan users realized that they could change the name of the person in the URL, but keep the ID number the same. This allowed them to spread links with other people's names on them, but with Moot's ID, so he got the vote. People clicking on the links thought they were voting for their favorite candidate when they were really voting for Moot. It was debauchery at the highest level. However, Time had implemented some restrictions. The poll wouldn't allow a vote for the same person more than once in 13 seconds. If someone tried to do this, then their IP address would get blocked. But the number 13, whether seconds or years of age, has never limited 4chan. They responded by creating auto-voters. Auto-voters were computer programs that cycled through proxies that could submit millions of votes without requiring that many people to do so. They significantly reduced the workload on their human counterparts. These auto-voters were extremely powerful. The auto-voters could also submit votes for other candidates which kept them in a particular order. An order that would spell out Marble Cake also the game. With their help, Fortune could just sit back and let the machines do the work. But then suddenly without warning, disaster struck. Time had finally caught on to what was happening. We all of a sudden had like 1.5 million votes. We were seeing a lot of bots coming in. And then it jumped to 3 million. It was just machines sort of coming and voting. And it jumped in a really short amount of time, so we knew something was wrong. And we realized it was our poll was being hacked. Time.com got hacked. The staff realized that the votes were rigged because they were coming in too fast and Moot was receiving too many positive ones. He had a rating of 300% while other candidates were in the negatives. The staff at time responded by deleting millions of votes for Moot and requiring a CAPTCHA in order to vote. You know, those annoying words that you have to spell out in order to prove that you're not a robot? God, I hate those. The CAPTCHAs consisted of two words and stopped the auto-voters immediately in their tracks. Within no time, the plan went to complete shit. Instead of the first letters of the top 21 names spelling out Marble Cake also the game, it instead spelled out this dyslexic phrase. Mabler Kalek Ostagam. If that got published, then 4chan would just look ridiculous. It would take an incredibly precise attack to restore the message. 4chan had to think fast, so they attacked the CAPTCHA, hoping to break it. They tried to design a program that analyzed the two words in the CAPTCHA and deciphered them automatically. But it just didn't work. They needed weeks or months to design a more sophisticated program, and that was time they didn't have. 
The poll was going to close in a few days, so 4chan abandoned that plan and instead tried to look for a flaw in the CAPTCHA. They saw that one word in the CAPTCHA was always much easier to read and interpret while the other one was more ambiguous. They then decided to correctly answer the word that was easier to interpret and just write penis for the more ambiguous word. 4chan hoped that if a large enough number of them did this, then the CAPTCHA system would ultimately register penis as the correct answer for the ambiguous word. You might be wondering, what's the whole point of this? Why was the goal to answer just one of the words in the CAPTCHA instead of both of them? Well, by making the answer to the ambiguous word by default penis, then it would only require deciphering one of the two words in the CAPTCHA, and the one word they needed to decipher would be the easy one. This would save valuable time and effort. But alas, the so-called penis flood attack failed. The CAPTCHAs were simply not responding to the massive amount of penises being thrown at them. 4chan hit a dead end, but instead of giving up, they decided to optimize the CAPTCHA system instead of trying to game it. They dig deep and read every morsel of information they could about CAPTCHAs. It was weaponized autism at its finest. 4chan then discovered that some of the CAPTCHA words were fake and didn't need to be answered in order to submit a vote. In response, they drafted a detailed PDF document on how to identify fake CAPTCHA words. For example, 100% fake words were a number, symbol, or word with a number or symbol and fake capture words were usually bolder, thicker, and blacker. With this knowledge, everyone on B was working around the clock to manually vote. They needed to keep Moot at number one and also spell out the message. However, they were about 150,000 votes short, and before they knew it, the poll was closed. Did they get the number of necessary votes and spell out the message? They weren't sure. But wait, time had made a fatal mistake. Although the website with the poll was closed, 4chan realized that they could still use the voting URLs to submit votes. It wasn't over just yet. 4chan continued hammering the URLs for the entirety of the next day. And then, early morning on April 27, 2009, Time.com published these glorious results. Moot was number one with 16 million plus votes and an average rating of 90, while the number two candidate had a 47 rating with only about 2 million votes. The message was also clearly spelled out for everyone to read. Marble Cake, also the game. Celebrations were in order. 4chan flocked to the internet with messages of victory. Unfortunately, Time had final say regarding the list and put Edward Kennedy as number one and put Moot as number 35. But Moot was still invited to the annual Time 100 gala in New York City. This was absolutely hilarious to watch because Moot went there with his mom and just stood around awkwardly with a bunch of billionaires and Nobel Prize winners. We're here with Moot, uh, founder of 4chan.org. And uh, so you kind of famously hacked the uh, Time.com site and made yourself the winner of the online poll. Um, are you gonna hack this event too? No, no plans for that. Uh, not yet, at least. <laughs> that sounded really sinister. <laughs> Time, as expected, refused to acknowledge 4chan's role in the result of the poll. Their online poll wasn't secure and was riddled with issues, which they obviously tried to hide from the public. Time even took a jab at Moot, writing this in a blurb about his win. To put the magnitude of the upset in perspective, it's worth noting that everyone Moot beat out actually has a job, to which he later replied to in an interview by stating, To clarify, I never claimed to be unaware of the concerted plan to influence the poll, just that I hadn't instructed anybody to vote for me. They did it all on their own. Well, looks like Moot was a good sport about the whole thing. I genuinely believe he had nothing to do with influencing his own ranking. But honestly, based on the influence that 4chan has had on the world, I really do think that Moot deserved the number one spot. 4chan has tracked down animal abusers and even found terrorist training camps, but of course the mainstream media would never acknowledge that. So what did the message Marble Cake also the game mean? Well, Marble Cake was the name of the IRC chat that 4chan used to discuss the Time 100 poll manipulation. It was also where the message to Scientology video was created, which was the first big anonymous video. Zombocom, the alias of one of the main players involved in this, stated that he chose the word Marble Cake because Many people believe that we are dead or only doing hug raids, etc. So I thought it would also be a way of saying We're still around and we don't just do only moral fag stuff. The media, however, claimed that Marble Cake referred to an obscene image, which I'm not going to show in this video for obvious reasons. But of course, they didn't know any better. The words also the game referred to, well, the game. The one that you just lost right now. For those of you who don't know, the game is a mental game where every time you think about the game, you lose. Well, that was the incredible story of how Fortune catapulted Moot to the top of the Time 100 list. Before I end this video, I just want to point out that not just anyone could be voted to the top of the reader's poll. You had to have been selected by the staff at Time Magazine in the first place. At least Time recognized that Moot or what he created wasn't completely insignificant. Needless to say, he was never placed on another Time Magazine list again. Maybe 4chan or its new owner will make the list in the future. After all, Anonymous made the list in 2012. Either way, go celebrate with a marble cake and see you in the next video. Oh, and if you like this story, please consider subscribing to my channel because there's going to be a lot more. I have a lot of plans for this channel. Take care.